studies show just how much physical activity in sports can have a positive impact on mental and physical health. And for kids, those benefits are pretty much endless. I'm here with Steve Passens, owner of Be Someone Sports with more great opportunities for kids across our area. First of all, Steve, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's talk about this organization, Be Someone Sports. It's close and dear to your heart. Tell me about you first, because y you have a history. I tell my kids, once an athlete, always an athlete. You played sports your whole life. I did, I played all, growing up through all, you know, middle school and all the way up into high school and then ended up in the military and college and all that good stuff. Yes, so, so tell me about how this organization started. You wanted to start something for kids specifically? I did, I, I wanted to see, build something that, that the kids could feel special in and, and have an opportunity to play sports and, you know, make it better than what's what's actually offered already on the table and yeah. be someone kind of gives that, you know, it's, it speaks to people as, you know, being able to be someone on the court and be someone in life and be someone every, in everything you do. Oh, it's so amazing too. There's so many connections with that because Houston, we know that iconic sign, be someone over the bridge there. Yeah. And that stands out to me, but. That's actually what caught me the very first time we okay. moved into Houston when we landed at the airport and we rented a car and got on the highway and drove to the hotel. I saw the Be Someone sign and yeah. it seemed like it stuck with me the entire time. And that's ever when you knew. Yeah. You knew it. And that's so true because, you know, as a kid, it's like sports is one of those things like, like language or, I mean, um, like food and music where you don't really need to you know, it's like that connection you have. You don't really need to know the person that well, but when you start talking about sports, it's like, oh, I understand, because I, you know, I played this sport or I know that sport. So athletes know that when you're telling them to be someone, it's like, I can do anything. If you're playing a sport, it's like, what do you learn from sports, right? Like, what do you teach these kids? Yeah, teach them leadership, teach them how to play, how to be a team player, how to work together as, as a unit, how, you know, it goes with so many parts of life, not just on the basketball yeah. court or on the volleyball court. It, it can be used anywhere on, on any aspect, you know, it's, it's just a natural part of life to want to be someone yeah. and, and be a part of something bigger and bigger. Yeah, I love it. And it definitely translates as you get older and to juggle, you know, the crazy parts of life. So tell us about another organization that is going to come out and the kids can join in the Pearland area. Correct. So Friendswood is our home. We have we already have the league going in Friendswood. We have a volleyball and basketball league currently running in Friendswood. They're they're a very fun, exciting league. We have over a thousand kids playing basketball for us. We have, you know, volleyball is growing at a very rapid pace. So we decided we wanted to move over into Pearland and try to recreate it again in Pearland. Mm -hmm. And then kind of recreate the, the city versus city atmosphere Ooh. during all-star games and, you know, during playoffs possibly or during the season, maybe have one week where we, we play the other city and, and yeah. you know, use it as an exhibition game or something along those lines. Tell us how Be Someone Sports is different from all the other organizations in Houston, would you say? Uh, the biggest thing that I can say is that we, we want to create specialness for the kids. We want to give them the opportunity to be someone. So, you know, when they register, we, we offer uh, confirmed in flyers that people can post online and we encourage the parents to post them. Say, you know, we get the, the picture of the kids and put it on there. We, we put, you know, we have an all-star game at the end of the season where the kids are selected by the coaches and nominated and, you know, we give them brand new jerseys and we give them, you know, the opportunity to, we have a DJ and we give them the opportunity to come out under, under a light show with flat lights flashing all over the court. Oh. And, you know, they get super excited and, yeah. and it's adrenaline's rushing and then they have so much fun. You know? So much confidence. Yep. That's what they need. That's the goal. Okay, so there's a dodgeball tournament that's coming up and this is gonna help kids in need. Tell us about this. So we decided we wanted to, to also give back to the community as well. So we, we decided we wanted to put on a dodgeball tournament and the goal is to collect school supplies and collect backpacks and just anything that the kids may need. So, you know, we decided to team up and work with Friendswood ISD Cares and the Bay Area of Alliance and, you know, try to give back to the community. So we're gonna have a dodgeball tournament this weekend and it's gonna be at Friendswood Middle School. The, the goal is obviously to get as much as we can so that we can give back to the kids that need help and, and are looking for it. And these days right now, it seems like there's a lot of kids that, that are in desperate need of help. And who doesn't love a good game of dodgeball? <laughs> Get the person you want to hit right in. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
Steve, thank you so much for joining. Really quickly, a website where folks can get more information. Uh, check us out this. on BeSomeOneSports.com. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Jo sign up for that dodgeball tournament. Be sure to head to ClickToHouston.com.